Miller Homes Group is proud to bring you MHG Life. We have miles of coastline, big cities, small towns, wide open spaces in West Texas, the piney woods of East Texas, massive ranches to intimate little condos and cities, a proud history and heritage, and a future that's brighter than most states. This is MHG Life. Welcome to this week's episode of MHG Life. I told you last week I was going to have a co-host and I've got this beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> Callie, what are you doing? Not a whole lot. I'm here with you. <laughs> I told everybody about you last week, but you'd snuck off for a girls weekend right. when we were filming. Well, you so. only told good things, right? Uh, well, you have to watch to find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and I, I have to tell you, the reason that we brought you in is is uh, I turned 64 here really quick. There's a segment of the market I don't relate to, and you're in your 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I talk real well. You're in my office all the time. Okay. We, we do get along. You're like my daughter. But you relate to a segment of the market that I don't. Mm -hmm. And so wanting to be all-inclusive about what Texas real estate and the Texas lifestyle is about, Unless somebody wants to know what the Texas lifestyle about is Netflix at 8 o'clock on Friday night, they they got to go to you because right. that's the only thing I know about, okay? So, but we haven't had you in the business for very long. You were our uh, rising star last year. Yes, at I was. Homes Group, man, yes, which I was. was a great surprise, mm -hmm. which means you're a rock star. You're also on the Rawls team. Mm -hmm. uh, tell everybody where you're from and how you got here. Yeah, so crazy story. Um, I am originally from the Central Texas area, born and raised uh, right outside of Belton, graduated from Florence, um, went to Blinn, uh, studied there for an animal science degree, um, and then I went to take an internship in the process of transferring to West Texas A&M um, and got tore up and a set of bullpens, uh, tore my knee all. Oh, that's yeah, when we got you. you yeah, were, you I was still limping. hobbling along. Yeah, you were limping. Um, and so when I got in that accident, I decided, I was like, hey, this isn't for me. I had bad taste in my mouth, for lack of better words, and decided to find a new avenue. And here I am two and a half years later, practicing oh, yeah, real estate. And, and you're rocking it. A friend mm -hmm. of your mom's brought you up here, who's an agent with us, Amy, yep. mm -hmm. and brought you up here, got you in the business, and now you right. just stand on your own, have your own place, and you're just totally. rocking it. Yeah. yeah, totally came up here just a shadow and ended up staying for the last yeah, however we long. <laughs> we wouldn't have any. I remember the first year with you, mm -hmm. and, and, and you learned. Uh, you didn't believe me when I told you the first year in the business, everything's <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> You want to save everybody, yeah. you want to rescue everybody the first year or two in the business. Right. And then after a while, you go, wait a minute, I can help them if they'll help themselves. Right. And, and we watched you go through that process. You're like, I desperately want to get these people a house. And I'd be like, but you want it more than they do. Right. <laughs> you know? It's an everyday occurrence. Yeah, everyday occurrence, isn't it? Well, and the, the greatest thing about it is, is you come in and you bring uh, some life to the office. You bring, you're going to bring some life to the show. Mm -hmm. While I have some really good energy, uh, you have a different kind of energy. Right. You have a different kind of knowledge and stuff. I have no clue if somebody wanted to know in East Texas on a Friday night, where is there a good band playing that me and my wife can go get a good steak or go get a burger or something. Right. I, really, I have no clue. And That's where you're going to come in. You're always always at the county fair. I see you at different counties at the county fair, always making friends, always networking. And when I see you networking, I, it's not about real estate. You're doing things you enjoy doing, and if somebody asks you what you do for a living, you just have to sell real estate. Well, and the fact of it is, I grew up in that industry, so it's kind of hard not to leave your niche. So the livestock <laughs> community makes it like home up here, even though I'm two and a half hours from where I was born and raised. So. Yeah, but you just adapted really, really well. Now, uh, single but married to a dog. Right. Very much so. <laughs> I love the dog. I love. There's a story behind the dog. Right. That. That's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah, but we love the dog. I mean, and so uh, I mean, and then we're pet friendly, and you are too, and so all that. It's been it's been totally amazing watching you evolve as a person, from what you came in the door. You were pretty injured and pretty beat up, and but you didn't lack confidence, and you had courage. It was like throw me in the fire, mm -hmm. I'll see what happens. Right. Yeah, you weren't afraid of any of it. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, that's remarkable. Well, thank you. <laughs> Re remarkable, remarkable. Cover all of East Texas pretty much? Mm -hmm. Basically. Right. You'll go just about where the business is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's great. Early 20s, that's, you have that energy. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to sell you gas and tires. Right, 
right. Yeah, I mean, so it's great. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you got, got a little car and just keep running around all over the place. So you you and your dog make it to everything. So, uh, She's my little co-pilot. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. So it's pretty good. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to be right back in just a moment with MHG Life. This is MHG Life, sponsored in part by the following. I'm Terry Miller with MHG Life, and if you've ever thought about having a title company represent you and do what's right for you when you sell or you purchase a home, Terry Title is my choice. TerryTitle.com will do everything you need to make sure your home purchase goes smooth on the title end. You can reach them at 903-991-3512 or TerryTitle.com. We can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguide.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both. Thanks to these great sponsors for supporting MHG Life. Hi, I'm Terry Miller and welcome back to MHG Life. Kelly, we got a guest. I know, we have Miss Mack here today. <laughs> Hello. Mackenzie, how you doing, girl? I'm good. How are you? I tell you, I wrote down a lot of detailed notes so we could be really on the money here. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Because we're going to ad-lib. You girls just, y'all both bring it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, we have Rising Star of the Year, her first year. Rookie of the Year, your first year. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. It is. It is. You're on a mother-daughter team. Yep. Mom will be on later. Right. Okay. We got telling you, Mom, we can't track her down. She's like. She's a busy little bee. Yeah. She just <laughs> keeps going. So, and you're busy too. You're always uh, making jam and making wreaths and mm -hmm. doing all that stuff. And I want to talk to you a little bit about, I, I remember when you first got in the business, your rookie of the year, and then we hit a little slow spot mm -hmm. with some of the COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. You did whatever you could to stay in real estate. You take yeah. a part-time job, you do yeah. this, you do that. And you're, you, both of you guys have the warmest hearts for the business. I mean, I see she's always at a rodeo or a fair. You're always rescuing a dog. <laughs> okay, I got jelly for a lifetime at my house, okay? You're like Mrs. Susie Homemaker, I love all that. Um, what made you decide to get in the business? Well, um, my mom, realtor, my sister's realtor, my stepdad's a builder, kind of like, you got one way or no way. Like, that's just kind of how I felt. Like, I, that was my calling to me. Kind of a, in the blood. Mm -hmm. Kind of in the blood. Now, we've done a lot of stuff. We made a Christmas album together mm -hmm. uh, with a bunch of other people. and Fantastic. To have the real estate industry today, the average age of a real estate agent in the United States today is 54 years old. We're too old. <laughs> We've got to have more like you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys sell millions of dollars in property a year, mm -hmm. and you focus on a market, and I, I, we were talking earlier. It's easy for, in that millennial, you guys are in your 20s, in the millennial area, for you guys to sell up, because mm -hmm. you got grandparents and you got all that stuff. It's not easy for an older agent to sell down. We don't relate, I don't relate to the millennial issues. Right. Okay. Uh, what are some key things that you're seeing as far as finding properties for millennials? Uh, right now, I mean, they're starting to have kids, and they want land, um, they want a backyard, they want fenced in area, you know, they want, I mean, I'll be honest, a lot of millennials nowadays, they're kind of picky. They, they are. And the markets can't afford to be picky. All right. <laughs> so it's, it's taken a little while, but, I mean, they, they know what they want, which to me is kind of surprising, because they're first-time home buyers, but they want everything. You know, and they want it moving ready, but they do like to customize it. You know, they do want some fixer upper, but not much. <laughs> not much. I call them tax refund. Now. Well, and feeding off what Max said, I mean, I see more of it. The last few millennials that I've dealt with, they are taking homes that were built way before they were even a twinkle mm -hmm. in their mother's eye mm -hmm. and like completely re redoing them but when they redo them they look like new builds mm -hmm. and it's like okay if we wanted a new build why didn't we just start with a new build did, right. why'd we waste all this money to get here you know right you got, you got more money than a new, <clears throat> than a new build would have cost right. yeah all the way around uh, 
I, I call what you're talking about, you know, do a little fix up here, tax mm -hmm. refund houses. You mm -hmm. see a lot of them mm -hmm. getting the house they basically want, but they're 90 percenters. And so right. every year when they get a tax refund, mm -hmm. they do the kitchen, they do the floors, mm -hmm. they do, yeah, that type of deal. Some of the... Uh, some of the key takeaways that I'm seeing as a broker, their price ranges are all over the map. Yeah. From 175 to 5. It really doesn't matter, does right. it? Mm -hmm. it right. little, little ranchettes and mm -hmm. all kind. Of, yeah, it's amazing. And good schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Close to daycare. Okay. All of the things that we need that you know we grew up wanting. I mean, it's like they're our group, mm -hmm. but there's also another another factor in there. Good babysitter right. and where's the nightlife? Okay, <laughs> it's different than when I was when we had started having kids. We just stayed home. They right. don't anymore, do they? No. Not really. Not really. <laughs> they want to know where the nightlife is. Mm -hmm. They want to know where the nightlife is. Okay. Now you're out of Longview, mm -hmm. but you cover a lot. Uh, you go up almost I thirty down south. I mean, you and Mom cover a bunch of it, don't you? Right. Okay. So and you've got yeah. Tyler. We well, go over Longview as well. You come over to Tyler as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look up and you're in the office. You just close something in Tyler. I don't know where anything is <laughs> right. anymore. So anyway, tell me, um, tell me some of the great things that you like about East Texas. I mean, I grew up here. I don't think I'm ever going to leave. I love East Texas, and I mean, I've thought about it, but I, I'm comfortable in East Texas. I I enjoy it. Um, I mean, I. You can get to anywhere you want from yeah. Texas. I mean, you go, you have grandparents in Houston, mm -hmm. so you're you're down there. It's only a few hours away. Mm -hmm. You have a sister in Dallas for two hours. Right. You know, boom, you're there. And same thing with you. You go back to Belton. Yep. You go down to that way uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. I'll look up. I've seen you on. I've seen her Friday at noon, and at four o'clock she's posting from a rodeo someplace in the middle of Texas. <laughs> so you guys are crazy. Well, and it's nice here. I mean, you're what an hour and a half to Shreveport mm -hmm. you're an hour to Arkansas you're an hour I mean it's like almost like a little nook here on the corner I mean you've got four states that you can cover like that so yeah, we have pretty much everything mm -hmm. we've got good stores we've got mm -hmm. all kinds of great things uh, the main thing that selling real estate in Texas and we talked about this. I talked about this with Ashley in the very first episode. Everybody thinks we ride around on horses. And it's, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. But I mean, you know, we we get, we see everything from uh, you know hundred thousand dollars sports cars to lifted trucks to God knows what. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's pretty amazing what we have in Texas, and we see it in East Texas. We have mm -hmm. some of the nicest uh, boutique stores, and some mm -hmm. of them really mm -hmm. great. And then if you just want good old redneck barbecue, we got some of that too. So it works out really good. So now Mac. Uh, you're going to have to tell me one of my favorite Mexican food places is over out of Kilgore you took us there uh, what's the one you go straight through Kilgore and going out it's south of Longview you worked there for a little while oh that's Tiblanco's Tiblanco's one of my favorite Mexican food places you, and, and so you took us there one time uh -huh. and we went uh, that's some of the, so you got great Mexican food mm -hmm. in town Mm -hmm. Okay, you have everything you need in the way if you want to golf, if you want to do that's my age group. Okay, but you have live music. Yeah. Okay, you've got uh, a nightlife for y'all's age group. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it works out really well to do those type of things. Mm -hmm. And of course, you don't have much of a nightlife anymore. You're raising how many dogs? Right now, I have six. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I have six. Yeah, there's another stray in my yard right now, but I'm, I mean, I'm feeding them, <laughs> trying to find a home for them. <laughs> Oh my God! And you build yeah. wreaths at Christmas, mm -hmm. and you just, it's Max. You're an old soul. Mm -hmm. I really am. Yeah, you're you're an old soul. I you really get you're am. a throwback to cook. You're a good cook. You do all that. And hunters. Well, and it's nice to see you on my end because I'm like a younger version of her, and so it's nice to look up to somebody <laughs> that doesn't, you know, do the normal, you know, what our age group is doing. Right. You guys like three years apart, though, right? But, yeah. Right. But I am though. I, uh uh. I make a hockey puck out of a piece of bread if I have to cook it. So <laughs> oh, yeah. it's nice to see somebody having those talents and those hobbies because that's just not my forte. Well, Mac, I'm sure she's done that before. <laughs> you gotta show <start> somewhere. <laughs> I've seen some of her posts going, I hope this turns out like my Mima's <laughs> oh, I accidentally used vanilla almond milk instead of regular milk, so I was making my food and I'm like, it smells like cookies. What did I. Mm -mm. <laughs> my ground beef tasted like vanilla, but I'm like, I'm tired. I was coming back from Houston. I was like, I don't know how this happened. So, I mean, we started somewhere. We still mess up. I'm not going to tell you how I know this, but cumin and cinnamon look awful a lot alike. 
Okay, so I'm not going to tell you how I discovered right. that. We're going to leave that on it, but you understand what I'm saying. So, but but those are the those are the things that I love seeing coming back into style is younger generations uh, beginning to work and do the things around the house. I mean, Hunter. I mean, he's out building fence, mm -hmm. doing what he needs to do to keep your mm -hmm. critters in. Yeah. So now we get chickens back in the yeah. house. You Fixed and Renee. Fix the chicken coop last night. You and, you and Renee and the chickens. So we, we'll see Renee on here. We'll be talking about chickens. But Texas brings a diversity. Okay. That's for sure. And by the same token, we see you at the Cowboy Games, mm -hmm. okay, with your sister and, and mom and everybody. So we have all of those wonderful things going for both of you. I mean, so we have Cosmopolitan. We have a little country. We have a little bit of all that going on. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Thanks for being on today. I know if I ever run out of jelly, I'm going to be calling you. Or if I need help with a dog, guess who I'm calling? Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Glad to have you. I'm glad I was here. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you, Mac, for stopping in. Once again, we'll be right back here with MHG Life. This is MHG Life, sponsored in part by the following. The greatest feeling in the world as a real estate agent is getting a couple into their first home and putting a couple into their last home. No matter how big Miller Homes Group may become, they will always be your hometown real estate company. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We sell you a house. I want to be one of the ones that everybody runs to and says, there's the model. They take care of their customers first. Miller Homes Group, your hometown real estate company. Find an agent online at MillerHomesGroup.com. We can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguide.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both. I'm Terry Miller with MHG Life, and if you've ever thought about having a title company represent you and do what's right for you when you sell or you purchase a home, Terry Title is my choice. TerryTitle.com will do everything you need to make sure your home purchase goes smooth on the title end. You can reach them at 903-991-3512 or TerryTitle.com. Thanks to these great sponsors for supporting MHG Life. Hi, this is Terry Miller and welcome to MHG Life. In our business sometimes we run into a lot of great things, but the most important thing is getting the title work done once a contract's done. I've got Mike and Terry in the house and he brought a guest with him. I did. Thank you, Terry. Thanks for having us. Okay. It means a lot to be on the show. Thank you. And, and this is Sandy Junix. She is our senior escrow officer and our manager. And so some of, some of our shows we kind of get into fluff and we get this. This is going to be a little more in depth. Yeah. Uh, the reason title's important is, is uh, East Texas was one of the first places Texas really settled lot and block and did all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we run into some really amazing nightmares that you get to deal with. Yes, and we, we enjoy that. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. we just put them under contract and walk away. <laughs> so you know how that goes. Um, we deal with a lot of uh, in his state, dead people, the, all kinds of stuff. And we learned this in real estate school, but we're not title people, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. So we, we come to you for the advice, okay? Mm -hmm. We, as agents, and I'm going to say this, mm -hmm. I'm going to look straight at this camera and say this, we make mistakes when it comes to listing a property that's an estate. And the reason as agents we make mistakes is the will hadn't been probated a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We haven't got it, they're in a hurry to sell it. Everybody wants their money because grandma's dead or whatever. Mm -hmm. For an extra day or two, we could do our homework, especially if, if we're bringing the title to you, the closing to you, we can come to you and get some help. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about when somebody dies in a state selling property, both of you guys, because just chime in, do what you want, because that's, to me, we deal with that. That's the single largest problem is chasing down affidavit of airships because they don't have wills or they don't have this. Yeah. And there's always one guy that lives someplace else that thinks the property's worth a lot more than it actually is worth. <laughs> so anyway, yes. take it away, we guys. Go ahead. Yeah, so again, there's two different ways. There's a dying test date and end test date. And what that means is if you die test date, it means that you had a will. 
if you die intestate, you did not have a will. And we can handle either one, um, but people kind of don't understand the process and what that looks like if you do or do not have a will. Um, if you have a will, you want to have it probated in four years. Um, and if you go past that point, then we can do an affidavit of heirship. And that's just another legal document that's set in place. Uh, you have an affiant that comes in and they basically list everything down to the history of the family, um, any debts out there. And then you have two witnesses who are disinterested parties, and they come in and they basically attest to whatever is on the affidavit of heirship. So they are um, putting their name on there saying this is all true and accurate. Um, the affiant is usually someone who has an interest, so usually a family member, whether it be the son or the daughter or someone related. Um, Wouldn't be an executor, but it would have the same type of... Yeah, it could be. It could, could be an executor. An executor. Yeah, okay. it could be anyone. And that's, that's a little bit where everybody gets confused. So if there is a will that's done but wasn't probated, um, some of the executors of the estate think that they can just attach the will to the affidavit airship and the title will go... A, with whatever is on the will, and that's not true. No, it has once you pass four years, it has to be probated. Right, before that, that is correct. That, and, yeah. and there, well, even even before the four years, some people don't even want to probate the will. Prior yeah, because the they're years. afraid to spend that extra correct, fifteen dollars or whatever. Yeah. It, it's not cheap, but yeah. it needs to be done. Right, and so they think if they attach it to the affidavit of heirship, that title will just go by whatever the will says, and unfortunately, we, we can't. No. So. Yeah, and then and that kind of comes into what a beneficiary is and what an mm -hmm. heir is. Those terms are usually interchangeable for people. That's not true. They have two, explain that two because we've got into that recently. Yeah. yeah. So a beneficiary is someone who's actually listed and named in the will to have uh, the bequeathment and um, whatever's left it in that property. Stakeholder. Yeah, stakeholder. Exactly. Yeah. Someone who gets part of the whatever the estate is uh, distributing, and then it, an heir is an heir at law, meaning that you don't know who the heir are going to be until someone passes away. Okay. People will say, oh, I'm an heir, I'm an heir. Well, you may not be until that, until that person passes away. Mm -hmm. So those are two very different legal terms okay. um, that people get confused sometimes. Yeah, I can see that happening a lot and we mm -hmm. get that confused. Uh, we also, what you said was, well, I'm executive of the state, I'll do what I want. Well, you have no power unless it's probated. Exactly right. right. They don't understand that. Yeah. Uh, we in some cases when there's basically no property and nothing and there's nothing okay i can see where you don't probate it nobody's mm -hmm. getting anything mm -hmm. except exactly. bills who wants the bills mm -hmm. but when you got property and you got everything you need to spend some money and get it probated yeah and again if you can't afford it you can always do an after airship so you still have that avenue which is cheaper and it's a lot quicker we can get after airship turned around in a few days Whereas, uh, I mean, a probate can take months, depending upon how large it is. Uh, so, yeah, it yeah. can be a nightmare. Yeah, and the thing is, is what some people, uh, like you were saying with the wills and the beneficiaries, so we actually had a case where it was an executor of the estate, but they weren't a legal heir, meaning they weren't a direct descendant of that deceased sure. person, and that executor of the will didn't get anything sure. because it wasn't probated. Sure. So I think that was a little bit of confusion on mm -hmm. that. So the heirs, the actual children and grand ch grandchildren had to give the funds out to that person. I've been executor on several uh, and the reason is is I treat like a business. Mm -hmm. And so, and they were, they were probated and in one case uh, nothing was left to me except for the expenses of probating and any expenses I had and, and that was fine with me. I did it as a courtesy to somebody I love very much and she wanted her money to go to charity mm -hmm. and to some people that had more time to spend with her than we did. <laughs> you know? so, and I mean, Lily, we, she lived in another state so we, yeah. I took care of it. Yeah. But it's, but it's, it's amazing what you see, what people interpret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys see that a lot, don't you? Mm -hmm. They just make up their own mind the way it's got to be. And who needs a sign? Doesn't need a sign. So a lot of people think that if you die and you don't have a will, that all your um, property automatically goes to your spouse. Well, that's not true not in Texas. In Texas. Not, it not, goes not in Texas. 50 I, I have experience with that. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty percent goes to the spouse. Fifty percent to the children. And they all have to sign off on everything. I mean, yep. And so some people think, oh, well, my wife will just sign off on it. Well, that's not true. The kids have to as well. So everyone who has interest in the property has a sign off. And that can take a lot of time to find people. Sometimes if you have larger families who've dispersed all over, mm -hmm. moved multiple times, siblings who've lost contact, you have to go through and find their location and get them to sign. You can do mail outs, so they can come in however they wish to do so. Mm -hmm. But it, it does add time to the process. So if you can do a lot of this up front, that allows the title to go through a lot faster. Something uh, I realized when uh uh, my dad passed before my grandmother mm -hmm. and when my grandmother passed mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't go 
to the surviving spouse of my dad. It goes to my two went to us boys. There's three of us boys. Mm -hmm. And you'd be surprised how many people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the children dies first, then the parent dies, and then mm -hmm. and then you've got a parent standing there going, Hey, where's mine? Well, you know, it goes to the his heirs, mm -hmm. you're not one. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and so it changes things up quite a bit. People don't understand the importance of having a will or document very, very clear mm -hmm. and probating. And, and just to speak to that point, that's a great point. So if you have children who you know don't get along with either a step parent or the parent or sure. just other siblings, they still have to sign off on that. So one way to avoid the conflict that can come through from a sale is simply to have a will in place where everything goes to the ones who get along. Mm -hmm. And that way they know that that's, that cell can go through a lot faster. Because if one person says, I don't want to sign these documents, it can create You're, a headache. Oh, and I've had that happen. Yeah. I've, I've had that happen. So it's, uh, we've had that happen a lot. We, get, uh, we had a guy that was in prison in Huntsville that thought $100,000 property was worth half a million dollars. <laughs> you know, so uh, we did. You know, so we ended up giving him some cigarette money in the commons. <laughs> and he was happy. <laughs> so, oh, I tell you, I'm so proud to have Terry Title on today. We'll be right back to MHG Life. This is MHG Life, sponsored in part by the following. The greatest feeling in the world as a real estate agent is getting a couple into their first home and putting a couple into their last home. No matter how big Miller Homes Group may become, they will always be your hometown real estate company. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We sell you a house. I want to be one of the ones that everybody runs to and says, there's a the model. They take care of their customers first. Miller Homes Group, your hometown real estate company. Find an agent online at MillerHomesGroup.com. Hey folks, it's Bob Mulder from Expedition Texas. Season one, the entire season is available now on DVD, available at ExpeditionTexas.tv for pre-order. That's right, pre-order now, get your shipment by the end of February for the entire first season of Expedition Texas. It's all the episodes, plenty of behind the scenes bloopers and some awesome special features. It's Expedition Texas season one, available for pre-order now at ExpeditionTexas.tv. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of MHG Live. I'm Terry Miller. And I'm Kelly Eaton. We'll see you next time. can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguide.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both.